adorable little cat on a walk. <laughs> I'm going to try. <laughs> You're going to try. <laughs> but there's something very unique about this cat. And, and that is that this cat, along with this collar, has hacking capabilities. Am I right? Well, he has, he has scanning capabilities. So this little thing was talking, it was listening to satellites in space and collecting all these GPS hits. This SD card was in the collar, recording yep. the data, and we put it onto the laptop here. So you were looking at a ton of data. Yes. And that was collected in a, a couple minutes with the cat roaming around with this, this high-tech collar. Mm -hmm. If you're a bad guy, what are you going to do with all this? Uh, if I'm a bad guy, I'm going to look here and see which open Wi-Fi access points are available to me. And if I'm going to do some sort of hacking or some, so, or some sort of malicious activity, I won't want to do it from my house because they can track me to there. Okay. And I can go to somebody else's house, connect to their Wi-Fi hotspot via their open Wi-Fi. And then if you want to do hacking or even something really terrible like uh, child pornography, you can download it via that open Wi-Fi access point. And when the FBI shows up, they're going to show up to where that, FB to where that access point was, not the guy who connected to it. And so what's the message you kind of want to give with, with this? So I just did this because the idea of it made me laugh. And mm -hmm. I wanted to see if I could actually accomplish it. And I managed to accomplish it. But what I'm really disturbed by is that there's a lot of open Wi-Fi access points. The biggest thing people can do is make sure that their, wi their home uh, Wi-Fi access points are properly secured. That's what John and Jane King Public can do on a day-to-day -day basis to make sure that their house is the most secure. That unsuspecting cat. <laughs> All right, lock it up. All right.